I'll be starting the morning today, so we're going to nip her across to Nanny's because your mum's already at work, isn't she, chicken? Yeah. And Nanny will watch you while Dad does some more work on those uh, mucky and beer I tanks. Have a unhealthy breakfast, a sweet. Yes, that's Abby's breakfast, sweets. She's a lucky girl. Right, well, I've got the HLT in, and what we're going to do is finalise everything. We've got a lid cup for it, not a perfect fit, can be changed in the future, it'll do, it'll do for the HLT at least. So these fittings like this little bit here and some others, I'm going to go on the inside with the TIG torch, just finish off, finalise any flow in, any gaps, any cracks or anything like that so it's nice and smooth and hygienic on the inside. And then once I've done that I'm going to go back in there with a the sanding disc and the buffing pad, like the scotch Bright pad, and we're gonna just pull everything back to nice shiny steel. And then we're gonna come out, we're gonna finish the top, the lid, or the rim anyway, and so the inside of this is completed, and that's gonna to go to one side, ready for pickling paste application. Then we're gonna stand it up and clad it. I don't know if I wanna get around to doing that today. I think maybe I should actually do it today. Um, and then maybe grab another tank while the pickling paste is on this, bring it in, do the same thing to the next tank, outside, rinse off the paste, apply more, clad again. Then hopefully we'll be able to work our way through all five tanks and get them ready for insulation and timber. So before I climb into the tank, I'll take you with and I'll show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. I just want to reflow. It's not a big issue for something that's hot side, but if we repurpose this to a fermenter in the future and I get a bigger HLT, I need all of these surfaces to be as hygienic as possible. So let's dive in. I've got my trusty light here and my knee pad, of course, for my bursitis. So in we get, and we're getting to the bottom of the tank now, and you'll notice on this wall here, we have an inlet. So that inlet, let me get a little bit closer, that inlet has got some gappage around the edge, if you can see that. It doesn't really want to focus very well because of the poor lighting, but if we can get the metal to reflow around that little area there then we should create a nice hygienic seal so these have been flowed on this side and you can see that they're they're much cleaner than that other piece of steel so we want to look for a similar finish and then of course it'll be these little leg stains where we've welded through and they've just stained the metal that we'll clear up with a scotch brite wheel right it's awkward i'm climbing out Oh yes, I'm not a huge fan of going in there, so there'll be no filmy filmy until we're done. You hear the rain? Again. Don't worry, I'm not going to make another rain video. So we've got the boil kettle and the HLT finished. Time for timber. So what I've actually done is whack the paste on this bad boy, see if we can find a good section for you to look at. There you go. Look at the colour of it. You see how it's all gone green? That's because it's picking up all the nasties from the welds. So all of that brown that's at the side of it will just wash off with the hose pipe now. All that staining will just vanish from the side of the inlets and outlets, everywhere. And at the same time, what it's done is pacify the stainless steel again. So we're gonna do the same treatment to the boil kettle now. 
that's going to get exactly the same pickling paste situation and while that one's pickling we're going to wash this one down and then we're going to get some of this timber over there and we're going to start to stick it onto the tanks god i've got a black face again from all that grinding right let's get to it stewie's been to the old sailors they've got these pound of glass if you want any on ebay lads check this out pound of glass so he lives on port scratchings does our kid He's a big fan of them and pot noodles there's my stock for next week is that your dinner bud? Hmm? is that your dinner? no oh you're having bacon fries I don't eat scampi fries, they make me smell like our lamps so you might be able to see now that we've rinsed off all of the pickling paste just exactly what the worlds look like totally different really nice and shiny apart from the odd spot of muck that's all it is, a bit of muck and uh, yeah they look really good don't they exactly the same colour as the steel as they should be and around the uh, the camlock bosses and stuff like that all nicely finished so now is time to start wrapping this in insulation and putting some hangers on to put some timber on. So the question is how do we mount the timber onto the tank without just falling straight on the floor? So I've made some brackets that we're going to attach to these legs. So we have to just pull this back into the shop for one more bit of work on the base. It's going to be a little bit easier with these because of course we can just sit pieces of timber on top of these legs and then band it on but this one needs brackets so quick as a flash we have the brackets welded on let's go see if they work <laughs> bottom and I've cut some pieces of wood which should fit snugly really quite snug put the good into the bottom and as you can see we can pop in around the outside all these pieces of timber and see how we're going you see how it's working now one around here too Now those pieces of timber have got something to rest on at the bottom and something to prevent them being pulled out on the top we are now going to take one of these strips that you've just seen me put we're going to position it these aren't quite long enough so I'm going to have to join a couple but what we want to do is position it and send them, you see how it bends, it's 6mm ply we'll send it all the way around, hopefully this is what I say hopefully, uh, allowing, allowing us to circumnavigate the tank, keeping these verticals vertical, and then that gives us something to A, stuff insulation behind, and B, pin other boards too. That's what this is essentially for. I'm not sure if I should use hardwood for the rest of them. Instead of this ply, I can just hear it cracking and creaking. And then, uh, yeah, this is how easy it is to fit the timber cladding. I've cut them all to length. Well, I say all of them. I've cut 10 to length and slotted them on. Looks pretty neat, if you ask me. What I'm going to do now is just cut open that roll of loft insulation 
and as I go I'm just going to stuff it in the gap. Beautiful. And then to cover these screw holes up, hopefully, oh can you hear the cracking and creaking, yeah to cover these screw holes up we'll put some steel banding on there as well. Of course that's if it looks right having the band in there. I might have to fill the screw holes and then put the band in where it looks really good. We shall see, but uh, yeah, so far you get the idea. HLT. This calls for a celebratory pint, I believe. This is a black iris. Forget the name of the beer. Anyway, it's like the vacant, it's amazing. So, what better way to toast the arrival of what I must say is a fantastic looking vessel? I am immensely proud. I can't believe it. it's not finished. A few little bits of timber to go down here to tidy this section up. And of course elements to go in. But she is 90% ready. Everything, obviously, all the welding's done on this tank, otherwise I wouldn't have clad her. But I'm extremely chuffed that I actually managed to get the timber on today. Really, really pleased. The screws that you can see here, if you can see them, uh, the majority of them are going to be covered with some steel bands. I'm going to put some steel banding on there, strap it up to keep this bad boy on. Fail that, anything that is above or below where the steel bands run, then of course I just pop a little bit of wood filler on there before I varnish them. But yeah, wow. What do you think? Right, I've just got to uh, rinse off that other tank that's just behind it there, the boil kettle. You can just see over there. Boop, boop. And uh, it's still got the pickling paste on. And once that's finished, I will be going home. It is 10 to 8. A long day, but worth it. Worth it to begin to see the finished product. So yeah, only five more to clad. Right, tank rinsed, pickling paste off. She's down there, if you can see. Lights are off, and I'm off home. What a day, I'm really pleased. Really pleased. I think we're gonna go with varnish, boys and girls. Gonna go with varnish. See you tomorrow, folks. <laughs>